In this lecture, I'll talk about uh, Fibonacci sequence, which is one of the most interesting and most important sequences in mathematics. So, uh, I'll start with the basic definition of this sequence. We know that this sequence, f of n, is defined as 0, if n is equal to 0, is 1, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> if n is equal to 1, and is equal to f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2 for n greater than or equal to. So if I write some some of the terms of this sequence, I have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, etc. So this will be f of 0, f of 1, f of 2, etc. The question in this lecture is that how can I have an explicit function as f of n which give me explicitly f of n. So, because in this definition, f of n is not uh, defined explicitly in terms of n. It's in, in terms of the previous terms. So, how can I find a certain function which relates all of the terms with different values of n to f of n. So I'll use a matrix ap approach to do that. I consider a matrix as f of n plus 1, f n, f n, f n minus 1. So if n is equal to 1, I'll have f of 2, f 1, f1 and f0 and this will be f of 2 is 1 1 1 and 0 if I call this matrix as M I can I will show that M to the power of n is exactly this matrix is simply f n plus 1 fn, fn, and fn minus 1. How can I show this theorem? So if I'll do this by induction over n, I'll prove this theorem by induction over n. So for n is equal to 1, I have previously uh, proved this, this one. So if I accept for n is equal to n, for n equal to n plus 1 for or m equal to n plus 1 I have I, I, I w want to show that m to the power of n plus m is equal to a f n plus 2 f n plus 1 f n plus 1 and f n to show to show that I know that m to n plus 1 is m times m to n. So simply 1, 1, 1, 0 times m to n. I know that I suppose that m to the power of n is fn plus 1, fn, fn, and fn minus 1. So I'll do the multiplication. I'll have fn plus 1 plus f of n, fn plus fn minus 1, fn plus 1, and f of n. This is by the definition is fn plus 2. This is fn plus 1. So we, s we see that mn plus 1 is exactly what 
we needed to show. So we have shown that m to to power of n is exactly the matrix that I have defined earlier here. I use this fact and now I consider this equation, this simple equation. If I multiply m to n, which is this matrix, by 1, 0, by this vector, what I will have is fn plus 1, fn, fn, fn minus 1 times 1 and 0. I have simply fn plus 1, f of n. So this will be my basic equation and I will use this equation in order to have an ex the explicit equation of f of n that I am searching for. So uh, now the problematic is to calculate the any power of m. So what, we, what uh, was the definition of m? This was 1, 1, 1, 0 as we have <coughs> sorry as we have defined it earlier so how can I raise this matrix by the power of n how can I calculate this matrix so uh, one of this one of the simple uh, one simple approach to calculate this matrix is that I diagonalize this matrix so this is a 2 by 2 matrix. If I, if I calculate the diagonalized form of this matrix as lambda 1 and lambda 2, I'll uh, define these after, for example, like this. Uh, I can show that M can be written as T times D times T minus 1, and I'll define that D t and t minus 1, um, uh, I'll define it after. So, if I calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of this matrix, which will be noted as lambda 1, lambda 2, the matrix A1 and A2, these are the eigenvectors of m and lambda 1 and lambda 2 which is our which are two scalars uh, are the eigen values of the matrix m by definition i have the matrix equation m a is equal to lambda times a so for example m times a1 is lambda 1 times a1 lambda 1 and a1 are two eigenvalues and eigenvectors which are correspondent to each other and samely ma2 is equal to lambda 2 times a2 this is the problem of eigen uh, eigenvalue problem correspondent to the matrix m so if I in order to solve this equation, I need to calculate the characteristic poly polynomial, uh, which is the determinant of m minus lambda i is equal to zero. And this equation will give me two eigenvalues, lambda 1 and lambda 2. The solution to this equation, to this characteristic polynomial. So, in order to solve this, simply I'll have 1 minus lambda 1, 1 and minus lambda is equal to 0. And the roots of this equation will be lambda 1 and 2, which are respectively 1 plus minus root 5 half so these two are the a eigenvalues of the matrix M. 
So by definition, the diagonalized form or diagonalized factor of the matrix M can be written as lambda 1, lambda 2, 0, 0. And I know that lambda 1 and lambda 2 are respectively 1 plus or minus root of 5 half. And how can I uh, construct the matrix T? The matrix T, in fact, is constructed by uh, considering the, mat the, the vectors A1 and the vector A2 li written like this in the columns of the matrix T. So uh, we can calculate simply the matrix, the matrix, uh, matrices A1 and A2 by solving the the equations like this, as I mentioned before, m minus lambda 2i times a2 equal to zero. These two equations will give me the solutions of these two system of equations will give me the vectors a1 and a2 and I can show simply that a1 and a2 a1 is the vector lambda 1 and 1 and A2 is the vector lambda 2 and 1 so the construction of the matrix T, which uh, involves the eigenvectors of the matrix M, is already completed. I, I have lambda 1, 1, lambda 2, and 1. So I have the matrix T and uh, respectively the matrix T minus 1. I have D. T. So I have another form of the matrix M in terms of the diagonalized factor and the matrix containing the eigenvectors of the matrix M. And with this approach, I can calculate simply the enium, the enium power of the matrix M. We will see that uh, soon. So. Now I, s I know that T is uh, equal to lambda 1, 1, and lambda 2, and 1. So T minus 1, which is the inverse of the matrix T, is simply, uh, can be simply calculated as 1 over root of 5, 1, minus lambda 2 minus 1 lambda 1 so the the other form of the matrix M which is defined as T dt minus 1 can be written as lambda 1 lambda 2 1 1 um, lambda 1 lambda 2 0 0, 1 over root 5, 1 minus 1 minus lambda 2 and lambda 1. We, but we are not interested in the matrix M. We want to calculate M to N. How can I calculate this one? I'll profit this form. I'll make use of this form. So Tm to N is simply this matrix times this matrix times this matrix etc I know that T minus 1 times T is the identity matrix I T minus 1 times T is the identity mat matrix I and so on and so forth and finally M to N will be T D to N T minus 1, T minus 1 is this one, T first T is this one, and I have the multiplication of D n times. First of all, T is lambda 1, 
land two one one what is d to n d is a diagonalized matrix with the element diagonal elements lambda one and lambda two and we know that if i want to raise this matrix to any power i need to raise only these elements to the power of n so d to n is simply lambda 1 n 0 0 lambda 2 n sorry times 1 over root 5 1 minus 1 minus lambda 2 lambda 1 and if I simplify these multiplications no 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 sorry sorry I need to uh, I refer to the previous equation m to n times 1, 0 is equal to fn plus 1, fn. I'll make use of this principal equation. So uh, I have already calculated m to n. So I need to multiply these, these matrix by the vector 1, 0. So fn plus 1, fn is simply lambda 1, lambda 2, 1, 1, lambda 1 to n, 0, 0, lambda 2, n. Sorry, 1 over root 5 here, times 1, minus 1, minus lambda 2, lambda 1, times the vector 1, 0. And if I simplify this multiplication, I have 1 over root 5, times the vector lambda 1 n plus 1 minus lambda 2 n plus 1 lambda 1 n minus lambda 2 n and I can say simply from this equation that f of n is 1 over root 5 times lambda 1 was 1 plus root of 5 over 2 which is the golden ratio in mathematics uh, in mathematics I we, we define this ratio as the golden ratio which has the interesting some interesting properties so this to the power of n minus 1 minus root of 5 half to the power of n so this is the explicit function which relates all of the terms of the sequence the Fibonacci sequence with different values of n to the terms that we, we, have, we are searching for so this is a function of n and not a function of the uh, like fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 so this is uh, one of the interesting properties of uh, the Fibonacci sequence. Thank you for your attention.